Care Chicago has been a mainstream Chicago organization committed to the defense of the civil rights of Muslim Americans. Care Chicago is in the business of positive self-representation. What that means is, in representing the American Muslim community, we decide, we define ourselves. Nobody else defines us for us. Secondly, it is through positive representation, meaning not negating stereotypes only, but asserting the positive assets that our community provides, that puts forth into larger society. You're looking around, there's plenty of that. Care Chicago has been a mainstream Chicago organization committed to the defense of the civil rights of Muslim Americans. The Civil Rights Department represents uh, people who uh, call us and complain about uh, religious discrimination that they have experienced either in, at work, at school, with their neighbors. Um, with uh, law enforcement and so on. My name is Trisha Kimling and I'm the staff attorney for CARE Chicago. Every time you assert um, you know, a civil right, you're asserting that right not only for yourself but for the entire community. And so I find that you know, when people have been discriminated against or put down in any way and then they've decided to you know, stand up and fight back, this is really inspiring. After I fulfilled all the requirement for the citizenship, I waited like two, three months, four, five, six months, and even years, that's when I figured I have to talk to care about the situation. If you go to their office, you see a few people, but you think they have 200 people they're working. Because the work they're doing, they're re it's really great. Outright discrimination, so-called racial profiling, uh, whether it's in an airport or by police, is a serious problem and it's been well documented by CARE in many instances. I really believe anybody and everybody should, should be supporting uh, CARE Chicago. Uh, I personally, I never thought that I would ever call them for a discrimination case against me. I was raised here since high school, and I don't even look like an Arab or a Muslim, but I still got, uh, I, I really needed them for their help. If it wasn't for them, I would have been in a lot of trouble and possibility of losing my house. of American Islamic Relations CARE is very well known and very respected as a civil rights organization and a communications organization. My name is Reem Rahman. I'm the communications coordinator for CARE Chicago. The role of the communications department is to challenge the bias, bigotry, and prejudices in the American discourse on Islam and Muslims. So the communications department produces the latest in new media, including audio, video, graphics, web design, blogs, and other multimedia in order to achieve its mission. Gerald Blake Hankerson, Junior Outreach Coordinator. From the beginning when I first heard of CARE, this focus really drew me in. The fact that, as far as I knew at the time, back in the early 2000s, that there was no organization that really stood for what CARE does, which is being involved in civil rights, being involved in advocacy, being involved in activism, being involved with helping merge the Muslim community with the mainstream America. I chose to work at CARE Chicago because I wanted to be a part of what's going on in the community and I felt that by working with the operations department I would play a critical role. The office atmosphere is very vibrant and exciting. There's always there something go. going on. Surprise! <laughs> and there's always new projects coming up. It's really fun to be here. One of the most important things that uh, CARE does nationally and, and particularly here in Chicago is give a voice uh, to the Muslim community. Well, the largest project that we have right now is called Project O. Project O aims to politically mobilize the Muslim community. It organizes the community by registering people to vote, and it empowers the community by providing information that they don't necessarily have at the moment to show them that they can be active participants in the political process. Whenever the students needed their help, they were there. And I think this was very key to the support that they received from the student community and the youth community. 
Care Chicago has seen exponential growth in the past three years that I have worked for the organization. We went from working in a small office down on the south side to having a pretty decent sized office in downtown Chicago where each staff member has their own office and, and has their own department, their own interns, volunteers, and externs. My full name is Sandy Ahmed and I'm an operations intern at CARE. My name is Maria Omar and I'm a communications intern. My name is Miguel Biot. Um, I'm an intern at CARE Chicago with uh, Government Affairs. My name is Chris Noth, governmental relations intern with CARE Chicago. My name is Amr Siddiqui and I'm the youth coordinator at CARE Chicago. Not only does CARE uh, provide you with interaction and learning and it's a great environment to work in. It also does it with a sense of professionalism and credibility. Volunteering at CARE really will make a difference in your life and a difference in others' lives as well. I chose to work with CARE Chicago because in my research academically I recognize CARE as a very trustworthy academic name. Um, so when I had heard that they were having internships I was very eager at the chance. As a communications intern I get to monitor the news for anything positive or negative about Muslims around the world or in Chicago. Care Chicago offered the opportunity as a social work major to uh, explore the policy side of social work. Last summer I worked as governmental relations intern and this basically entailed two tasks. Uh, first doing electoral research, researching the candidates that are running. And the second part was blogging on uh, Sadia Ahmed's The Mobilizer <coughs> blog, um, which was one to two posts per week. So it was an interesting combination of of different activities. It's amazing to see how the kids, you know, they get really, really excited and motivated because they have this vision of an America that is going to be, you know, an America where Muslims can live happily, where Muslims can interact with everyone freely, where they don't have discrimination, where racism isn't an everyday thing. And they have that vision, but they don't know how to get results. They don't know how to get from this idea to actually making it happen. And so what happens is that the symposium enables them to take those ideas and get some action in front of them to actually implement some of their projects. C7 News, Chicago's... On American Islamic Relations has been involved with some of the community meetings with the FBI. Despite efforts to build relations and educate, backlash from 9-11 continues to hurt some Muslims in our community, they say. This is NBC5 News. Chicago Council on American Islamic Relations. The stereotypes of Muslims are perpetuated in society. They manifest themselves on the ground. And are... I didn't hear about it. So I'm saying to myself, this is an uptick in American Muslims demanding their rights. Am I, am I wrong? Uh, you are wrong because there are many uh, confounding factors that we have to look at. One is that there were no organizations or organized efforts to help those with complaints back then. Senator, my name is Ahmed Rahab from Chicago, Illinois. I'm from the Council on American Islamic Relations in Chicago and the Illinois Coalition of Immigrant and Refugee Rights. As a full-time civil rights activist, I receive hundreds of complaints from American Muslims regarding the sort of abuses and prejudices and discriminations that they face on a regular basis simply because of their name, physical appearance, or faith affiliation. Whether it's housing discrimination, or employment discrimination, or having to wait two to five years over the average time limit in order to obtain their citizenship, sadly it seems that we're facing a culture of fear-mongering that is replacing our collective constitutional vision for equal opportunity for all. Senator, in the 60s, Malcolm and Martin gave up their lives fighting for justice for all. The civil rights movement is not over. It's not done yet. We're still fighting. This is now my profession. And it's a profession that I am duly proud of because it's work that I'm doing for God. And it's a blessing indeed. Freedom of religion, democracy, tolerance. That's what this country is about. I have the right to wear what I want. Equal opportunity for all. Justice. Educator. Dedicated. Challenging bias. Untiring. Political empowerment. Protecting civil liberties. Respected. Committed. Immigrant and refugee rights. I believe in care. 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 If we didn't have care in Chicago, we would have to invent it. 
Prejudice is not what America is about. I define myself. I am American. 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 American. I am a proud American.